patronage as the establishment of art education was initially very important. Um, these um, institutions uh, initially uh, sponsored or encouraged uh, a more traditional form of art, both in terms of miniature painting as well as in terms of academic um, European painting and uh, somewhat uh, later in the course of the first half of the 20th century post-impressionism um, and its influences. Um, after the Faculty of Fine Arts of Tehran University in 1941, in 1961, there was a School of Decorative Arts which was established, which directly impacted on the emergence of the most important modernist movement, which was Saka um, Then government patronage um, allied with individual initiative um, led to a series of uh, biennales which had international juries from 1958 onwards. And these uh, very much encouraged both the development of local modernism and abstract art in Iran. Um, and then, of course, uh, we have to speak of the acquisition of art, um, which um, on the government level and in terms particularly of uh, the uh, national collections formed by Queen Farah uh, obviously spurred artistic development um, and encouraged artistic production. And then, of course, the creation of museums, uh, primarily uh, the Museum of Contemporary Art. Uh, so all these institutions, you know, sort of formed the backbone of the development of modernism. Um, but I would not um, underrate the role of individual initiative. Um, after uh, World War II, artists um, began not only um, uh, encouraging other artists by creating uh, galleries, artist-run galleries, um, such as Apadana and Galerie Esthétique with Marco Grigorian, and then later Atelier Kabut with uh, Tana Vuli and uh, Kluberasht, which were informal gathering places. Um, but um, artists such as Marcos Grigorian uh, literally um, organized the Biennales. So I think private initiative and there was patronage flourished in many flourished in many forms. And I would also mention um, artists' role as collectors, uh, collecting tribal art, mirror work, uh, carpets, uh, uh, and especially coffee house paintings. Um, again, another example of, of patronage that affected the development of modernism. I guess I, I would begin by um, talking about how artists experience and rediscovered calligraphy. And that was both uh, within a high culture context, such as museums, Zendirudi going to Iran Bastan and seeing a shirt uh, with talismanic um, inscriptions on it, as well as in a, a popular milieu, uh, downtown Tehran uh, acted as a kind of virtual museum uh, in a way that Venice, for instance, is, is, is a museum in itself and inspired, uh, particularly Tanavoli and Zenderudi, uh, have recorded their rediscovery of the water fountains of uh, popular art, such as uh, um, printed uh, devotional images, and of course the whole um, uh, paraphernalia associated with Shiite ceremonials and rituals. So uh, within all this context, they found text and calligraphy. And um, as well as in manuscript pages or traditional calligraphy, um, and especially um, calligraphic exercises, which had a somewhat uh, already um, abstract quality to them. So I think artists in this era, not only in Iran, but throughout the whole Muslim world, uh, turned to calligraphy as an alternative to figuration. I think they sensed that calligraphy was a means for them to attain a kind of abstraction, certainly non-figuration, that was local and indigenous and um, very different from the way Western artists or even Eastern artists would have approached this problem. 
So I think they found this reservoir um, of inspiration in text and calligraphy. We, over the course of, of it more than a year, um, in consultation with many of the leading writers and scholars uh, on this period who have been um, thinking and writing about uh, art of the 60s and 70s uh, for more than 20 years. Um, and with a, we began initially with a um, curatorium uh, of th three curators. Um, we determined to uh, make a selection of artists based on how they illustrated the major developments and themes um, that occupied artists during this period. So we hope that there will be an understanding that, the, that these artists are representative um, of major trends and of uh, very significant developments in the period. But there were many, many other artists who worked in, in similar styles or had similar concerns.